grateful to be playing in a uh, home that has a couple horses down the street because Brittany's going to be out of course. Do I have another bow? Oh, there's actually that before I go.
lot that I'm saying that because Brittany and I are having a little CD selling contest. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't say it if I didn't mean it. <laughs> if you guys like the favorite The Underdog, I'd also have a CD. <laughs> I think I would just play it just so you know. So, like, there, I'm ready to tell you that that one is on Joe's record, which is one of my favorite records. And that is also my favorite. <laughs> you should really just get all three, probably. This is a, so this is a, yeah. This is an old time tune called Candy Girl.
aside for a moment and let uh, Owen uh, play the harmonium and guitar for you. Don't worry, it's not going to be like this forever. <laughs> we'll come back. <laughs> Chairs here, tables there. So, as Dean pointed out, and uh, some of you probably saw it coming in, all of this up to you, I have here, that might be a small pump organ. It's called a harmonium. Um, I can never remember dates, but uh, I think it was developed on um, this style of harmonium. It's a, a collapsible. I'll even show it to you. Uh, it's very cool. So it's just there. Uh, pretend you didn't see this. So just fold it down with this nice little suitcase here. And uh, missionaries would use it to travel around and sing hymns to the heathens, I suppose. <laughs> And uh, one of the places that they went was India, and the, uh, the hymns weren't that popular there, and was to say, uh, but the harmonium was a huge hit. <laughs> and, uh, and then it falls out like that. Uh, but um, my good friend Ray Larson, uh, who's a terrific Irish flute player, he plays everything. I'm not actually going to listen that. One of those instruments is the harmonium, and uh, I was inspired by him to get one years and years ago. Uh, and he said, uh, you'll see later, I can play full chords. Where he spells on the back, and we have leads, and get a nice little sign if you turn to your page and whatever, the hymnal. But, um, I often will put it on the floor and lock it, a specific drone open. I don't want to give you the idea that I'm an egomaniac or anything, but uh, I kind of like to think I'm a little bit like a multi limb into beauty, playing two instruments at once, which has always been a fantasy of mine. So. But uh, back home, Joe and I are both from Portland, Maine. We're, we're neighbors, and it's a, a great treat for me to be with these two on the road this week, because they're not too bad. So. Uh, but back home, I play uh, traditional Irish music predominantly. Um, and, uh, I don't usually play melodies by myself, but I'll do my best for you. So. Woo! I was inspired by the snow on the way over here, just how it's starting to feel that time of year. And the, the, Cold. The, the, the Christmas or solstice time of year, and it's one of my favorite times. So I'm going to play a I think it's the Wexford Carol or the Westford Carol. Mm -hmm. And then I'll go into a reel called Black Cats by the great uh, Irish fiddler Tommy Peoples. So. Mm -hmm. Like I said, it's not going to be like this forever, don't worry. <laughs> Thank you. 
tuning on guitar. I saw it, and it looked like a couple confused faces. That's one of my chord choices. I played in the <laughs> tuning dad dad, which is how this strings are tuned. D A D G A D. So now back to our regular scheduled program. <laughs> play one of my tunes, and uh, I have a much easier time writing tunes than I do that, uh, writing tune titles. I'm always kind of fun writing a pretty title. Um, like, the one where, like, my, this other band I'm in named one of my tunes for me, and I learned a lesson there, because they named it Making Out, and it's an awful. <laughs> <laughs> I have to announce that on stage now. Uh, but this is one of mine called The Wolf Cat Breakdown.